Hey, what's going on guys? It's Brian back again with another art video. Uh, today I'm going to be drawing in this new Crescent Render sketchbook that I got specifically to kind of chronicle this whole 2018 journey and beginning as an artist in this new hobby, endeavor, I mean I don't know what you want to call it, passion that I kind of found in the last couple weeks. I mean if you know anything about me, you know that I used to be a professional dancer for five and a half, six years up here in New York, and the last three years or so, I've been working as a professional real estate agent. Totally different career, and the reasons why I changed careers, I mean, there's so many different reasons from just physical injury, being kind of burnt out with the entertainment industry, and just the way that dancers are treated. Um, and not really being able to like financially provide for myself to the point where I really wanted to. So I transitioned careers a couple of years ago. And the last six months or so, I really needed a, a creative outlet. So art seems to be doing it for me right now. And I'm really excited about where it might go. So here, I really had no idea what I was doing here in this in this drawing. I just started with this triangle with some lines coming out of it and then I decided to draw a little circle over here on the left hand side and then literally just just kind of went with where it took me from there and that's one of the things I really have been enjoying doing the last couple weeks as I've been tiptoeing my feet into the waters of being creative with um, art and with drawing with painting and all of those different things I like the aspect of kind of shutting off your analytical mind and just going with what feels intuitively right to you in the moment, what feels creative. And that's something I really missed um, since I haven't been dancing full-time professionally anymore. And, you know, I'm excited to say that this year in 2018, I started taking class again and getting back into class. And, you know, it's only a couple weeks into the year, a couple days into the year, but it feels really good to be moving my body like that again. And I'm excited to explore this artistic journey uh, deeper and just see where that takes me. Because it's just a, you know how when you get into something new, like have any of you guys ever like just out of nowhere just tried a new hobby and you found you really liked it and, and it, you have that sensation of like a whole nother part of your brain that you didn't know was there or that existed just starting to turn on and fire in a way that you never experienced before. It's like... It's like finding a, a giant book in the back of some library somewhere and you've never even read the title, let alone the first page. And then as you read the title, it's like, oh, that's interesting. And then you read the first page or two and you're like, wow, I could, I, I could like really kind of enjoy this. And you just keep going in and every single page you read, you get more and more into it. And you look at the book and the size of the book and it's just this massive book that's tens of thousands of pages long, so long that you can never in your entire life read every page. It feels like that. It feels like like I've stumbled upon some treasure that I could spend the rest of my life and several lifetimes after exploring and never get to the bottom of. And that's really, really cool to me. It's really, really exciting. So <clears throat> I'm excited to see where it goes. So here I'm just kind of filling in some some geometric shapes and just adding some patterns in. I really at this point have no freaking clue where this picture is going. And I would say total this whole picture uh, drawing took me about three and a half hours over like two days. I had to stop and come back to it. And I actually felt kind of burnt out from it because I don't know. I mean for me like pen and ink is really fun and it's interesting and it's it kind of taps into a part of my brain that's a little bit darker a little bit more like I don't know mysterious and uh, I don't really know the word for it just just not like bright cheery and like everything's just sunshine and rainbows just a little more of a real like down to earth kind of maybe even melancholy place uh, in my brain and while I definitely acknowledge it's not great for me to live there all the time. Creatively, it's a, it's an amazing place to go, and some, some great things always come out whenever I go there, whether it's drawing, whether it's dancing, or whether it's playing guitar, which is another passion of mine. 
And I have some videos on my YouTube as well of me just playing guitar and doing some covers and stuff, and those are really fun as well. Um, but it's definitely not as like therapeutic as painting. Painting, especially doing landscape paintings, is something that's very relaxing to me, and, and it, it's really fun and really uh, feels good the entire time. This feels way more like hard freaking work while I'm doing this because there's just so much detail involved. Every single line you make on the page counts. Um, you can't go back over something and fix it the way you can a painting because it's ink, it's permanent, it's going to stick and stay. And you just have to have to practice not judging what you're doing while you're doing it and just continuing to push forward, continuing to take forward steps. And I think you could draw a lot of parallels just to life and the type of mentality you have to have in doing a drawing like this because there were several times as I was doing this drawing that I, I wanted to give up and I wanted to just be done with it because it didn't feel like it was anything. It didn't feel like it looked like anything. I didn't know where the hell it was going. I still don't even know where it was going, and I really have no clue what I'm doing, guys. Like, I am a total beginner. I've never gone to art school or had any type of training, and it definitely probably looks that way, but I'm having a blast with it, and I'm really enjoying it, and one of the reasons I'm sharing it is because ever since social media came out and ever since YouTube started and I started seeing people with these YouTube channels doing so many different things, whether it's playing guitar, whether it's dancing, whether it's just doing vlogs and talking to the camera, the people who are able to like build a following and kind of have a community around what they were doing that was excited about it always seemed so enticing to me and so like something that I would love to do. But I never had a thing that I felt like I could make my thing on YouTube. Um, I was posting dance videos for a long time and they're all still still up on my page. You can go check them out and there's a lot of great stuff there. <clears throat> but I never felt like I kind of hit a stride with that to where I not only wanted to post videos but where I was getting the type of feedback that would make me want to continue doing that and like really putting forth effort and being passionate about it. But doing these time-lapse videos and even doing like longer form videos with art and just the whole idea of having an art channel that's not dedicated to me being like an amazing artist because I'm super humble and acknowledge that I'm totally beginner compared to so many people out there. But as a way to chronicle my journey with creativity and as a way to put my creativity out there and have an outlet for it because it's something that I've really missed the last couple of years since I've been doing real estate full time. Um, don't get me wrong, I love doing real estate. It's very rewarding for a lot of different reasons, but it's not creativity. It's not creatively rewarding at all. So I've needed an outlet, and I think this can be an outlet for me, and it's something that I'm really excited about. And the art community, I gotta say, is just overwhelmingly positive and supportive as well. I mean, the few artists that I've reached out to on both YouTube and Instagram, just people that I've found and really have enjoyed their work have been super gracious and super nice and friendly with our interactions and helpful. So it's something that's really encouraging to me about, you know, this journey that I'm going on. Um, so that being said, like, as I'm putting out these videos, I mean, understand I'm a definitely, I'm definitely a beginner. I'm starting in this and I'm open to criticism. I'm open to tips. I'm open to different things to try, different techniques to look into, different classes you would recommend. I just want to get better. I really enjoy the process of making art. It feels really gratifying to me to be able to sit down for a couple hours, not look at my phone, not worry about what's going on tomorrow. Just put pen to paper, be creative, and end with a finished product that I did myself that wasn't something I typed up on a computer but was something that I used my hands to create, that I crafted. And that's something that really feels gratifying and I want to explore that deeper. So I hope you guys enjoy these videos. I hope you check them out. I, I have so many different thoughts and so many different things that I want to get off my chest and out of my head and I think this is a perfect way for me to kind of mentally vomit my thoughts onto the screen and onto paper and I'm excited to keep putting stuff out and seeing what people think about it. And I've gotten some great feedback so far. It's been really encouraging. It's just made me want to work harder and continue just honing the basic skills that I'm working on. You know, again, I've never gone to school for any of this. I'm a total beginner. So 
I really want to hear what you guys think. I want you to you know, let me know and give me some tips and stuff to work on. And I'm going to keep putting these videos out. I really want to make 2018 a super productive year art-wise and business-wise too and just create this channel to where I think it could be, to where I could really have a community around what I'm doing. So I hope you guys enjoy it and uh, we'll see you at the next one. Peace.